the stabilizer unit and the gas and acid gas treatment, the mixture of the hydrocarbon gas from the atmospheric crude distillation unit or CDU contain variable amounts of the carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and water vapor. The presence of hydrogen sulfide cannot be tolerated because this is poisoning and corrode metallic equipment. Carbon dioxide is undesirable because it reduces the heating value of the gas and solidify under the high pressure and low temperature used during the exporting product of natural gas. So that is the reason of the why we have to consider a stabilizer unit and acid grad treatment before the gas unit. Next one is the block for diagram. The mixture of the hydrocarbon gas from the atmospheric crude distillation unit CDU or light hydrocarbon or light N are produced in relative small quantity from the crude petroleum in a large quantity at the gas condenser. Most of the light N do not condense and are withdrawn and handled as a gas. However, a part of light in can remain dissolved in the condensates in form of a high vapor pressure of the condensate liquid. This liquid with a high vapor pressure can be stored in refrigerated tanks or is tanks that capable of the withstanding with the pressure developed by the gas dissolved in the liquid. To separate the light in from the liquid, we can use the distillation process. Generally, we call that unit is stabilization. The leaving liquid from stabilization will have the low enough vapor pressure to store in ordinary tank without loss of the vapor. And the product vapor will be sent to the gas separation pan or gas pan. However, before entering to the gas separation unit or gas pan, the mixed gas shall be treated as its gas or refinery gas sweetening process. The block for diagram of this system has shown as below. The process description. The top product from the atmospheric good distillation unit or CDU is a mixture of the hydrocarbon gas, such as the methane, ethane, propane, butane, and naphtha vapor. The initial boiling point IBP is lower than the 140 degrees Celsius cut. Methane, ethane, propane, and butane exist in the gas, from whereas naphtha vapor liquefy at the ambient temperature at the atmospheric pressure. So if the overhead product is kept at the atmospheric pressure, this value liquefy above fuel gas will be lost as atmosphere. The initial boiling point of that measure will vary due to the relative presence of this gas. I mean, naphtha gas. The gas are easily separate from the naphtha by distillation in multi plate column where the top product is stabilized naphtha boiling in length of the C5 to 140 degrees Celsius. The typical stabilizer column show as for the picture. Then the gas from stabilizer will go to the gas pan where hydrogen sulfide associated with the hydrocarbon is removed by, sol by solvent extraction. Usually, we use the diethyl amine or DEA solution. Actually, the acid gas treatment can be reduced and removed by several methods such as the physical absorption by using the selective absorption solvent or physical absorption using the solid as solvent or chemical absorption where a solvent or chemical capable of reacting reversibly with the acid gas is used. The first one, physical absorption process. This process has no chemical reaction occur between the acid gas and solvent. The solvent or absorbent is a liquid that select activity absorb the acid gas and leave out the hydrocarbon. For example, solvent is a dimethyl ether or polyethylene glycol. Mixed gas pass countercurrents to desiccant solvent. When the solvent becomes saturated with the acid gas, the pressure is reduced and hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide are absorbed. The solvent is then desiccant to absorption tower for reusing. The example configuration of physical absorption process shown below. 
Anyway, this configuration is limiting the capacity. Next unit is the physical absorption using the solid absorbent. In this process, surface area is a solid with a high use. Molecular sieve or zeolite are very used and are capable of absorbing large amount of the gas. In practice, more than one absorption bed is used for continued operation. One base is in use in a while of the other is being regenerated. Regeneration is accomplished by passing hot dry gas through the bed. Molecular sieve are competitive only when the quantity of the hydrogen sulfide and carbon disulfide are low. Molecular sieve are also capable of the absorbing, absorbing water in addition now to the acid gas. And the last unit is the chemical absorption process. For the biggest capacity process with the absorbing the large amount of the acid gas, they use a solution of the relatively weak base such as the monoethanoamine or diethanoamine are frequently used for this purpose. The amine concentration normally ranges between 15 to 30 percent. Diethanoamine is favorable absorbent due to its lower corrosion rate, smaller amine loss potential, and fewer utility requirements. In the plate tower, the solvent showed the solvent flow down and gas flow up the column called the corners. Use A means solvent containing hydrogen sulfide emerge from the bottom of the lower of the tower and the top of the column produce the hydrocarbon gas free of hydrogen sulfide. The A means solution containing hydrogen sulfide is regenerated in a separation stream stripper. The detected hazard with the acid gas treatment is corrosion. Aqueous amine solution for removing acid gas by absorption process. Corrosion, erosion or fouling problem at the amine treating unit usually happen because of faulty of plant design, poor operating practice and amine solution contamination. Actually, amine themselves are not corrosive to carbon steel. However, they can degrade during long circulation at high temperature if stream temperature exceeds 150 degrees Celsius. Corrosion in amine treating unit depends on the amine type, whether monoethanol amine or MEA, diethanol, diethanol amine or DEA, methyl diethanol amine or MDEA, or diisopropanol amine or DIPA and molar ratio between the hydrogen sulfide and amine loading. To control or minimize the corrosive problem, the, con the contaminated salt in products normally is called as the HSAS, or his stable amine salt shall be limited within the 1% by which in the amine solution. Anyway, the high potential location of course Seeing the problem of the corrosion around the acid gas treatment by amine are following, shut at the reboiler at the amine treating unit, in the surface of the stripping unit, transporting gas by from absorber. The general solution that shall be used shut at the material selection shall be selected by considering the maximum solution concentration and temperature. Maintaining the concentration of the amine concentration by means of the hydrogen sulfide and amine loading. Carry out the periodic purification of the amine solution from the heat stable amine salts or HSAS. So that is the general solution to prevent or reduce of the corrosion in the acid gas treatment. Thank you so much for watching my video and let's see on next unit in the refinery. Thank you. Bye bye.